Yes, today we have question paper 4 in a level 970242 May June 2022 and we have several question here uh, start from number 1 until number uh, start from number 1 until number uh, number 10 I think yes number 10 yeah uh, I try to solve some question here and so don't go anywhere yeah uh, stay on this channel yeah this is about uh, formula and then this is about data yeah as usual so formula start from uniformly accelerated motion or we call sulfat yeah, hydrostatic, pre uh, hydrostatic pressure and then gravitational potential Yes, carotenoid potential energy, and so on and so on. Okay, let me check from number one. Number one is uh, define gravitational potential at the point. Yeah, gravitational potential at the point. Yeah, uh, this is same thing with potential energy over mass. Yeah. Potential energy over mass or potential energy from the infinity to the point. Yeah, uh, so this is something with like potential on the electrostatics. Yeah, but on the electrostatic, we divide it with Q with charge. Yeah, that's it. Okay, this is what scrap paper. Uh, I, I try to with my pencil. Then question two is starting from the equation for the gravitational potential due to point mass, so that the gravitational potential energy EP of point mass m at a distance r from another point, the mass m is given by EP equals to negative g m m m capital m small divided r, where g is gravitational constant. Okay, uh, we start from WD. This is means as the work done, yeah. Work done, something with force times distance, yeah. Since you know force is yeah, G M M R square, yeah. This is gravitational force, and then we times with R, yeah. So, uh, potential energy same thing with delta yeah so uh, this is start from infinity uh, to the point r yeah so gmm over r this is force times here yeah this is let's say equals to zero yeah so this is negative gmm divided r yeah r square uh, neglected one with r here yeah so like uh, this is g uh, g m capital m small r square uh, times r so we can cancel one r here yeah that's it so this is equals to gravitational potential yeah uh, then um, b equation uh, let's check b equation uh, you may to see this first the question Figure in 1.1, so the pet uh, co comet smash. Two point two O times ten to the power of fourteen kilograms. As it passes around the stars of mass one point nine nine times ten to the power thirty kilogram. Yeah. X Y. X is position, yeah. X and Y is position of comet. On the X position, they have velocity 34.1 km second minus 1. And mass, star mass is 1.99 times the 10 to the power 30 kg. Yeah. Okay. Mass comet is 2.2 .2, uh, times 10 to the power 14 kg. Okay, we continue read the question. At point X, the comet is 8.44 times 10 to the power 11 meter 
from the center of stars and moving at the speed at the 34.1 km second minus 1. At point Y, the comet passes its point closest approach to the star at the point the comet is distant 6.38 times 10 to the power of 10 meter from the center of star. This question, this explanation about question. Okay, so the question is here. Both the comet and the star can be considered as point masses at their centers. Calculate the magnitude of the change in gravitational potential energy delta EP of the comet at move from position X and Y. Okay. We have actually distance X and Y uh, here. Um, delta E P means G M M divided. Oh, sorry. Uh, divided with one over R when the x position and, and the y position yeah. so since g uh, is g constant is uh, we 6.67 this is 6.67 times 10 to the power 11 and then mass of uh, comet is Comet and star, yeah. M capital, actually star mass, 1.99 times 10 to the power of 30, yeah, this is star mass. Then, uh, comet mass is 2.20 times 10 to the power of 14, yeah. And then, oh, 1 over. Uh, R Y. Uh, maybe uh, let's say this is same thing. Yeah. Uh, we use R. Eight point four four times ten to the power eleven and negative uh, one over six point. 6.38 yeah. times 10 to the power of 10 oh. Oh, that's it. you may see this here this is the distance of x and y here yeah. at the point x the comet is 8.44 times 10 to the power 11 meter at the point y is 6.38 times 10 to the power 10 yeah, so we use this distance uh, include in this equation so we calculate here yeah, how much is it mm, yep. 6.67 times 1.99 times 2.2 oh 29 okay then wait on this portion still 9 2 times 10 to the power Forty one fifty fifth. Then mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes. oh, wait. 
use 10 to the power negative 10 here is this Money. You got eight thousand six hundred. One divided. I'm gonna make this so much money. I'm using your account. Zero point one. Good night. Okay. Uh, here is zero point one four. Yeah. So. Mm, times with twenty nine Oh, we get uh four point two times 10 to the power uh, 45 joules ah. 4.2 times 10 45 joules mm. that's it calculate the magnitude of the change in gravitational potential energy delta EP of the comet as it moved from the position X to position Y yeah, we use this formula yeah. delta EP equals to change of potential energy since we know uh, potential energy is G M capital M small divided R yeah okay that's it start with a reason whether the change in gravitational potential energy in bi yeah is an increases or decreases mm. since the comets move from the x to y yeah x to y means uh, rx yeah, Rx is more than Ry. Yeah. So potential energy is decrease. Yeah, decreases. Why? Because the distance. Because the distance. Yeah. More distance means more potential energy. Okay, use the answer in BI to determine the speed in kilometer second minus one of the comet to point Y. Oh, speed. BI, BI. Oh, I know. Uh, we use as a potential energy same thing with change kinetic energy mm. with Change potential energy means change of kinetic energy. We have change potential energy is 4.2 times 10 to the power 45 joules. And then we have uh, kinetic energy on the position X is um, a half mass of comet. Yeah, comet is 2.2 times 10 to the power 14. Yeah, and then they have velocity speed 34.1 in kilometer per second same thing with times 10 to the power of 3 yeah this is already in meter per second then negative kinetic energy 2 
Oh wait, wait. Here is. Oh, uh, because the mess is same yes, mess comment, so uh, we can use this like uh, this one, and then uh, this is only uh, about velocity square. This is v two square. So, mm, 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 but this is forty two. We divided forty four point two divided with a half times two point two yeah and then uh, we get the value of this segment yeah okay wait I will calculate first yeah four point two times two point two divided two point two okay we have here four point Oh, so 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 3.81 3.81 yeah times 10 to the power of 31 31 yeah this is equals to 34.1 square everywhere Here is one one six two point the one times ten to the power six equals to phi square. Oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Kilometer per second. The velocity is kilometer per second. Fourteen. Oh my god, I mistake about this one. Yeah. This is gravitational potent, uh, gravitational constant is negative, yeah, negative for negative 11. So, oh my god, think about. Oh, and this is 33. I mistake, I mistake, I mistake. This is 33. So, 33. 23 joules. Then... Mm -mm -mm. Which one I mistake you?
this is 23 and then 23 minus 14 this is 9 oh, good 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 this is 9 yeah so oh okay okay so this is same thing with v square equals to oh maybe this is negative here yeah. that's it this is uh, this positive this is negative so we can get v this is equals to 3.81 minus 1.162 times 10 to the power 6 yeah, sorry to the power 9 yeah so from this 3.81 minus 1.162 10 to the power 4 meter second minus 1 or this is about 51 yeah, kilometer second minus 1 that's it so I repeat again uh, I have mistake on this one yeah. this is actually negative 11 yeah uh, after we calculate we get uh, about 4.2 times 10 to the power 23 in joules yeah, 23 in joules 23 yeah this is the potential energy change then uh, we use the potential energy change 4.2 times 10 to the power 23 used to find the velocity but uh, I have mistake this one this is actually we use uh, the position like uh, drag the position this is v2 square minus v yeah v this one 34.1 this is kilometer per second yeah the change here so we get v square equals to 3.81 minus 1.162 yeah this is coming from 10 to the power 6 yeah change to 10 to the power of 9 yeah here 3.81 negative 1.162 equals about uh uh sorry about something yeah, about something but then we root it yeah we root this yeah we root this yeah we get 5.1 yeah uh, i don't remember this is 3.81 negative uh, equals something and then we root it into we have we get 5.1 times 10 to the power 4 in meter per second because they need about kilometer second minus one so this is same thing with times 10 to the power 3 and then 1 or 10 we calculate we multiplication with 5.1 uh, here 51 that's it how about C question a second comet passes point X with the same speed and the comet B Okay, uh, at comet B. Traveling the same direction, the comet gradually losing mass. The mass of this comet when the passes point X is same as the mass of the comet in B. Mm -hmm. Suggest so where is and how the path of the second comet compares with the path so in feature 1.1. Uh, losing mass, losing mass uh, mean as the gravitational potential energy uh, less than before, yeah. less than before, yeah. Because uh, losing mass mean mass uh, relative uh, less before. So a uh, force of uh, 
gravitational force is different uh, less than before so the path is more the distance y yeah this is distance y more yeah than before uh, i think that's it yeah. okay this one. Now see question two. Yeah. Uh, question two is okay. State column low. Yeah. Column low is when two objects they have same sign in uh, charge. Yeah. You, you, you still remember in when the positive and positive it will be repel yeah and negative and negative also repel yeah this is repel and when positive and negative or negative with positive it will be track yeah or this is like uh, light charge yeah repel yeah unlike charge attract yeah. and the force is uh, proportional to q and then inversely proportional to r square that's it uh, we will use this formula to find the question b Let's check question B. Yeah. Let's check question B. A uh, positronium is a system in which an electron, an electron and a positron orbit with the same period around their common center of mass. As one of feature 2.1. Center of mass here. This is electron. They have orbit with the positron. Oh, this is electron. This is positron. Yeah with the distance from the center is r so distance between electron and positron is double r yeah, two r the radius r of the orbit both particle is 1.59 times to the power negative 10 meters yeah. but this is same thing with radius bore bore radius so explain how the electric force between the electron and positron causes the path is the moving particle to be circular uh, this is because they have equilibrium between uh, columns force and centripetal force yeah this is they have equilibrium equilibrium between column force here yeah. or we call it as the electrostatic force and centripetal force yeah that's it okay let's check question i i so that the magnitude of the electric force between the electron and the positron is 2.28 times 10 to the power of negative 9 newton okay ah uh, we use the formula electrostatic force that f equals to k q1 q2 divided distance square uh, r, r here is distance between electron and positron electron and positron so this is 9 times 10 to the power 9 then q1 electron and positron this is same thing uh, equals with elementary charge yeah. 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 yeah so same thing with the square yeah because same thing and then distance between them is 2r yeah 
2 times 1.59 yeah, times 10 to the power negative 10 meter and then square so we calculate this we calculate we calculate nine times one point six square divide it two times one point five nine square Okay, you see this here. 2.27, 2.28, 2.278 means same thing with 2.28. Yeah. 2.28 times 10 to the power negative 9. Okay. Then we take question I I I or I three yeah I three is a check here. Use the information in B I two to determine the period of circular orbit of two particles. Oh my god. Period. We use information B two from force oh uh because this is equilibrium between force column force and centripetal force yeah yeah so centripetal force equals to mv square per r yeah then yeah so uh oh wait we use m omega square r yeah omega square r omega is 2 pi over t okay we find omega force yeah we check we find omega force this is omega square equals to uh, force divided m r let's check Force is 2.28 times 10 to the power negative 9. Then mass, mass of the electron. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. Mass of the electron. I think 9.1. Now mass of, yes, this one here. Yeah. 9.11 times 10 to the power negative 31. So we make again 9.11 here. Uh, 9.11 times 10 to the power negative 31, and then r r means radius here. Radius radius is 1.59 times 10 to negative 10. Okay, so we get omega is. Yeah. 2.28 divided 9.11 divided 1.59 0. Point, wait 157 31 with 0.17 times 10 to the power uh, 41 41 minus 9 32 oh. and 
then we root it omega means root of this root of this 0 0.157 0 0.39 Mm. Oh, I see. Three point eight six times ten to the power fifteen. So period is. 2 pi over omega mm -mm 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 -mm. 3.14 times 2 uh, divide it uh, 3 3.96 1.6 second uh, 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 15 second that's it